Welcome back to Queen 2024. We are here in Losers Finals. We're really getting down to the top three here. I'm Casey, and with me here, it's Laird. Yes. Hi. Uh, just a small correction there. I do believe we are getting into Losers Semifinals. Oh se no, it's finals. Oh, it is finals. Oh, I didn't see that one happen. All right. Well, I guess Sauce ended up going against Xavier and was able to be victorious here. Mm -hmm. And it is Snogi who is standing across from him. Snogi just unfortunately fell three nothing to A9 in the winner's finals. They're down here looking to claw their way back in. Now Sauce was actually able to take two games off of A9 and, and force a very close last hit situation on game five. Yeah, but ultimately A9 was able to take it through and he's sitting in winner's side grand finals where he's gonna be facing these two people who actually played uh, doubles together. Yes. They yeah, ended up getting third place. A9 not just sitting there, but sitting pretty. Got that yeah. second place purse. Looking to make it a first place, you know? Oh. And already, Snogi's looking to get back in the action here, too. Yeah. Very good dominating first stock. 13% oh my goodness. all he's sustained so far. Yeah, it is a lot of damage so far for Snogi, who has been coming in hot after a really dominant start to his bracket. You know, not dropping a single set up until winner's final, so he's still coming through. Sauce, on the other hand, has definitely has survived some close sets. Um, especially that one in the winner's uh, semifinals, nearly getting a set off of A9. So, so he has well. a bit of an upper hand so far in this game one. Yeah, Snogi, uh, when we see this against A9, somebody who you really can't play Fox's game plan super well against because Steve is just the, the tempo dictator. But even then, Snogi's really good at determining how the match is going to go just by how they play. They don't just swing. They don't just keep attacking. They mix you up. They mix the timings up. They do different things, or the same things, rather, just at different times. And it yeah. makes it really difficult to get a feel for what they're going to do next and why. Yeah, in Sauce, able to get some combos off, but Snoki is able to get out of Dance Advantage pretty well. I think we've talked about how Snoki's biggest strength is his combo game, right? And But you think about the way that he's been able to avoid potentially disastrous situations, also been a pretty big part of him you know, being in this position to begin with in losing finals. Speaking of positions, not a very good one for Snogi. Yeah, but the angle right there, able to <laughs> almost get him off a of bad Speaking situation. Speaking of angles. Yeah, the angle on that fine whip ended up uh, taking the KO right there. Yeah, and uh, Sauce is someone who's optimized that specific Squirtle combo to the letter. 47% yep. unanswerable. You can't DI out of that one. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Sauce basically, like, when you get grabbed by Sauce at 0%, just like, Put pick a god. Put the controller down. <laughs> you gotta pick a god and pray he misses. <laughs> yeah. I don't care who it is. It's <laughs> just somebody. You need help. God, Buddha, Allah, like <laughs> whoever won. Scientology, whatever they believe in. <laughs> Sorry, I don't mean to be divisive. That's, <laughs> that's crazy. I respect those beliefs. I'm just saying, pick someone. Well. <laughs> never mind. Never mind. Oh my goodness. Snuggie could be up 1-0 after a pretty solid start to that game. Sauce able to make it last stock, but Snowy was just able to close that with a pretty decisive win. All right. Sauce, yeah, hasn't, I obviously beat Xavier, so they might be, might be experiencing a little bit of tournament endurance, plus they had a bit of a drive to get here too. Yeah. I feel like both of them did though. You know Sorry? what I'm saying? I feel like both of them did. Yeah, that's fair. Oh yeah, yeah, they're there. both from Glassboro area at the moment. Yeah. Shout out Glassboro. Shout out Glassboro, that's where I came from too today. Oh, nice. Yeah. Oh, here we go though, Sauce with the combos, but yeah. not gonna close it out. Great ledge trapping. Squirtle, kind of underrated at ledge trapping. Yeah. Just because they have good speed, good first options, you know, they can cover pretty much everything too. A lot of ways to react to options as well. Yeah, plus, as that, well plus as that low down tilt. Good at two framing, especially against characters like Fox who have very easy to time recovery windows. Yeah. Fox, that's the main thing, right? It just throughout every single game that he's been in, right? He has that linear recovery, unfortunately. And it yeah. It's good. It covers distance, but yeah. yeah, it's linear. So for every time that you're able to get a great recovery, there's also times where you can get called out in you know, two frames or KO. But Snoke's saying that that doesn't matter to me as long as I can stay on stage and get these KOs. Yeah. Oh, there's that up B. Going to be whiffing. Charizard being such a big character with not a lot of disadvantage options. Yeah. Takes a little bit of extra damage there for Sauce. 
Sauce was uh, off to a very good start, but once again, a deficit here as Snogi continues oh the my patience. Goodness. Yeah, no. Okay, but you're going to need an F smash for that one. Snogi nearly had it go their way, though. Mm -hmm. That would have been the stock, considering oh, yeah. Squirtle was there. The f in the full charge. Yeah. It would have been ridiculous. For but sure. no, it just goes to show the history between these two. I mean, they're doubles partners. They clearly know what the other one cooks and, and how they for play. Sure. Yeah, and they had great synergy in doubles. They were able to make it the winner's finals for a reason, and Yeah. Unfortunately, couldn't make it to back to Grand. Yeah. But they oh. ended up falling to Noodle in Apsara, I believe. But you know who won that doubles event? It was A9 and Xavier. And A9 right now is sitting pretty in the winner's side of the Grand. And the winner of this set's going to have to face him. I, was, I will say, though, that said, Xavier did have to fall earlier yeah. on in the bracket to Sauce. They, they get the fourth place berth. But look at, I mean, look at that though. The top four, A9 and Xavier, and then Sauce and Snoky. Think about that. How, uh, yeah, that is how about that. That said, um, Snoky and Sauce, they got third in doubles. Hey, shout out to Sara. They were, they were cooking the dubs. Oh, no. No, oh, Zara, yeah, Zara got that. Yeah, he got a good recovery. Yeah, Absara oh, got, Absara got on, seventh, I believe, in, in okay. uh, singles bracket. Solid. I think Newell did as well. Yeah. How, yeah, yeah, how about that? Yeah, the double seventh. Like, true doubles partners would. That's why they got second, is because they got such great chemistry that they're even getting seventh together. Yeah. Sauce right now a little worse for wear on their last stock. 88%. Snogi with a bit of rage. There, up smash. You might need to consider that will do it here. Rapid jab in the corner. Good extra damage. Zard is here. <laughs> Boosh. Oh, oh, I thought it was happening. That would have been man. super untackable as well, by the way. Yeah. Like, yeah. Mega untackable. That Nair just too fast, too active. Yeah. It's as active as the voter population in the state of Texas. <laughs> Let's go one liner right there. I'm, I'm have to I've been cooking later. that one all day. <laughs> yeah. There's that up smash, too. Ever since November, he's been like, when's the next tournament? When's the next tournament? <laughs> There's got to be two over Snoggy. Yeah, so far. And uh, Sauce has a bunch of questions mm -hmm. Snoggy has posed. Needs to find one or two answers. And listen, at these big TCNJ tournaments, Snoggy has consistently done well. He was able to make top six. Um, at King 2024 last semester, Sauce hasn't been to a TCNJ tournament since uh, King 2023. Wow. But he's been back in full action. But Snoggy kind of shown that expertise and that experience he has in the game so far in this set. Yeah. Sauce, somebody I see around campus pretty often. Uh, he and I have a conversation. Uh, we, he, uh, he and I are on the esports team together too, and we've been friends for years. Yeah. So got a, got a good amount of uh, rapport with this with this individual mm -hmm. and uh, just plays the game loves it a lot you know it yeah. draws a very good portion of their identity around it and really fi finds himself at home in the scene oh for sure they're definitely one of the standout people just in the community in general whether it's you know on this you know on the sticks or off the sticks you know whether it's you know making crazy upsets and going for crazy clips or if it's making hilarious tweets I mean Sauce is a uh, yeah, just a very essential part of the New Jersey community. Yeah, and, on top and so of that, is Snoggy, obviously. Yeah, but. you know, top of that, both these players very welcoming in the community too. A very yes. good part of this grassroots scene. You know, love seeing them tournaments week in week out. You know, Ultimate celebrating its uh, sixth anniversary. Yeah, on that's this uh, very day. Today, yeah, happy six years of this ga of this game. We this got Steve. We got beautiful Kazia. Train wreck of a game that we yeah. all play and love, but. You know, there will always be 2019, all right? Absolutely, yeah. <laughs> there will always be 2019. And listen, yeah. we'll always have Queen 2024 because this has been pretty fun. You know Absolutely, yeah. So, and, uh, you know, Ultimate's memories. been out for six years. Sauce and I have been friends for five. Dang. So, yeah, we go way back. A lot of memories and friendships have been made through this game, which is pretty beautiful. So yeah. it's kind of cool that this game is six years old. And it is. I don't know if there's <laughs> even going to be another Smash game in, like, another, like, I wouldn't be surprised if like 2028 is the next time we get a Smash game. Yeah, well, hey, on, on top of that, another beautiful thing about this game is that uh, they gave Squirtle a kill for it. Yeah. We should all be thankful about that. That's cool. I think that's fine. Like, I'm, I'm cool with that. There's. It's a cool thing. He just like puts you on a show like, uh, get out of here. Yeah, a little bit of a seismic toss, if you will. Well, Kinda no, like that's Charizard. Charizard's up throw. Yeah. Silly guy. But. I mean, Squirrel, I don't even know if he has any throw kind of attacks in uh, the Pokemon <laughs> games, but nevertheless. Oh, my gosh. Yeah. Um, tournament winner from ledge into air dodge past the opponent, which is 
completely fine. That's just, awesome. Ju just juke past him, I guess. It's like Sauce isn't playing bad. It's just Snogi's playing better. Yeah, that's kind of the name of the game. Winning the matchup. Yeah. Up air. Ooh, oh. good dodge. It's a double dodge. Oh, oh, all these options somehow being avoided by Sauce, but Snogi is still right on top of them Roll in terms through. of this pressure. Good tech there. Back air, not going to do it. Not even the second one. Shield not even the third. Crazy. No, the fourth. Shield pressure low. The shield small. Man, that's a that's a tropical Skittle. Just because they, yeah. they don't have a regular blue Skittle, but. They got the tropical skill right there. That blue shield <laughs> that's a, withering that's a away. 1,000 piece stud in, in, in LEGO Star Wars. Yep. And we're on last stock here for Sauce in loser's bracket. It is now or never if they want to get that second place prize pot. Listen, either way, these, these two players have gotten the bag, so can't be complaining on either side. But both these players would love to see a little more and would love to get the run back against A9 in Grand Finals as well. So we're just going to see what happens. But Snogi's been playing so well. Ooh. But with that being said, again, you can't count him out till he's out. We saw this exact same thing happen in Winter's side. A9 went up 2-0. So I was able to claw it back to last hit in game number five. five. Yes. So their odds are it can happen here. He's at 100%. He's worse for wear, but he's got his Ivysaur out, and that is his signature. Again, I've spoken on the competitive mindset of Sauce and how that's one of his biggest advantages. They just have the winner's mindset. It can really go the distance in these best of five sets. So if you can somehow get a comeback here, it's so all of a sudden it would be all in Snoki's favor to low key, maybe in Sauce's favor. So we'll have to see if you can make this comeback. And if you think Sauce can make that comeback, make sure you like and subscribe to the <laughs> YouTube Shameless channel plug, for baby. Collision. They put this thing yeah. on, and unfortunately, that will be the nail in the coffin. Snoki <laughs> is going to go to a 3-0 sweep of Sauce in loser's bracket, and he is ready for the run back in Grand Finals against A9. That's coming up next.